Now Alabama has an opportunity to protect the health of everyone who eats wild caught fish from our waters with the Safe and Healthy Outdoor Recreation Act, also known as the Shore Act. I did want to highlight pending legislation in Alabama that is actually being supported by environmental groups across the state. So it's not all bad news. We actually have something right now working its way through the legislature that's positive. Can't always say that in Alabama. So the following is from Mobile Baykeeper. Did you know that throughout 98 waterways in Alabama, there are 213 advisories to limit the amount of fish you should eat? That data is almost unknown to the general public. HB 297, also known as the Shore Act, ensures government accountability and transparency by giving you access to this critical data that the public already owns. Help safeguard your family's health and our fishing heritage. So what can you do to ensure our fishing is protected, our families stay safe, and this vital piece of legislation is passed? Well, contact your representative. Your voice is vital. Call your representative and tell them you want to see Alabama's fish consumption advisories improved. Urge them to vote for the bill as written. For generations, fishing has been an essential part of life along the Gulf Coast. That's why humans settled here in the first place. From the Mississippian era to today, fishing our waters has given those who live in coastal Alabama much sustenance and many memories. Days that begin with early morning trips to the water and end that evening with the family gathering around as fresh a dinner as you could ever have. Days like these have been the way of life for many in the region. In coastal Alabama, fishing is not just a pastime or a source of sustenance, it's a part of who we are. However, over many years, our waters and fish have been changed by pollution. In fact, 213 advisories recommend limiting fish consumption in various water bodies across Alabama. Now Alabama has an opportunity to protect the health of everyone who eats wild caught fish from our waters with the Safe and Healthy Outdoor Recreation Act of 2023, also known as the Shore Act. Senator Linda Coleman Madison introduced the Senate version, SB 105, which will ensure outdoor recreationists or paddlers, swimmers, and fishers across Alabama are better informed about p fish consumption advisories in our rivers, streams, creeks, and bays. So far, the bill has bipartisan support in the Alabama Senate. But Mobile Baykeeper is asking for your help to help get it passed. For more information about the bill and how you can get involved, you can read the latest information at mobilebaykeeper.org. So, really wanted to uh, lift that up. Uh, I know some other environmental groups are also working on that bill as well, the Shore Act. Glad to see something positive uh, actually working its way through the legislature. From what I can tell, it seems uh, to be on a good track. So. Uh, if you get a chance, email your rep. Give your, your state rep a call, your state senator. Just let them know that you're interested in the SHORE Act, that you'd like to see the bill as written. Go ahead, be approved. Uh, this should be a totally non-controversial piece of legislation, right? It should not be controversial that we know which fish are safe to eat and which ones aren't when we fish our own waters here in Alabama. And that previous message from Mobile Baykeeper about protecting our fishing in Alabama reminded me to let folks know about the Union Sportsmen Alliance. The Union Sportsmen's Alliance USA is a union-operated, union-dedicated conservation organization. It's committed to uniting the more than 6 million active and retired AFL-CIO trade union members who hunt, fish, shoot, and enjoy outdoor recreation into one community with a shared commitment to educate future generations of sportsmen and sportswomen, conserve healthy wildlife habitat, and volunteer their time and skills for projects that improve outdoor access for all. The Union Sportsmen's Alliance goal is to become North, Al North America's largest community of union sportsmen and women committed to preserving our outdoor heritage for generations to come. 
You can find out more on unionsportsman.org. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project. And you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. 